I remember scouting this side with my backpack and my best friend full of cans in the, in, in the back and when it was time to camp and we run into a campesino hut those guys won't allow us to camp near to their house come in come in they were bored to death they wanted to tell stories they wanted to know people and most important they wanted to share what they have and I always wrote, have that in my heart. So with Adventures Panama, I find a way to pay back the favor. Now, they're still living in the same place, or they die. But their sons that work with me, they start perceiving money, dollars. And what would they do living in the jungle with money? Well, no one likes to live in the jungle and, 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 and plant and hunt for survival. Everyone likes the commodity of the city. So with money on hand, they moved to the closest um, town. And guess what? Their children are going to school. Their children have a chance to be a professionals. And, and I'm very proud to put a little of that. And with all of you that make this possible, um, we'll keep doing the cycle, keeping getting people out of remote area to improve their life and also improve the place where we operate. Because before they live out of hunting, now they are forest rangers. Not pay forest ranger, but forest ranger because they see and they perceive that that jungle really improves their life. This is the upper watershed of Chagres National Park in our way to Rio Piedras. In 1985, Chagres National Park was created when the government realized that it's the main water source of the canal and it wasn't protected. It was invaded, however, way before that. There were at least 30 families living here. And, um, the dictatorship of that time took care of 90% of the families by intimidation. But the others stand and they say to the military that their only option was to get them out dead because they had worked hard and that was their wealth. Same so as a teenager, I had been scouting the Chagres River, the upper shed. First I started going up in, in canoe and then after years of scouting the river I found out that there were some timber in the mountains. So I switched and I started doing trips from the mountains down to the river. Everyone in Panama knows about the Chagres River but almost no one knows what I discovered when I was 14 years old, the upper Chagres River. I was fishing pickup bass, wasn't doing good, so I started with a six horsepower motor looking around, scouting, and I found this mouth of the river. While well, going upstream, we encountered the first rapid and we got hooked right there. Uh, well, the motor, we didn't delay in breaking it in the rapids, so we, has to, we have to start planning trips where we have to paddle across Mountain Lake uh, push and tow that canoe up river and I remember devoting maybe four days in a row to go as far as uh, Rio Piedras where it meets Chagres and there we found out that there were people in the mountains because it was timber and then we switched we start scouting the Chagres from the mountains I never thought I was going to make a company out of my passion. And here I am. 26 years ago, we did the first commercial trip, 1984. Or around that time, we started scouting the area. Maybe I was 14, 15 years old. People say I'm crazy. I just think this is the best adventure ever. There's only one way to find out. Come and join me. I want to hear you. Welcome to the Chagrich River.
just realized that Panama is well known by the canal. It's the, definitely the most visited place in Panama. But the second most visited place are the Embera villages that are usually located downstream. Everything is related to Chagres. We are in the upper head. The only thing is that here you won't see a single tourist. We had been 26 years by ourselves. Once we are in the river, Chagres is all ours. Forward, forward! Hello folks, another day with Adventures Panama. We're coming out of Chagres Challenge with Christian and Corinne from Ottawa. They are actually from Romania, but live in Ottawa, Canada. Yes, yes, we, uh, it was a really amazing trip. I um, had a chance in my life to do a lot of international travel and many, many tours. I took many tours uh, everywhere where, where I went. And I would rate this uh, one, one as being one of the top two uh, that I ever uh, had in my life. All right. Um, I would say that the highlight is uh, very pristine nature. Uh, the Chakra River is um, really amazing, a beautiful crystal clear water. Uh, the jungle is something that you will never see elsewhere. 